If we have a homogeneous system of differential equations, we can rewrite our system in the form x prime equals a times x, where a is a matrix. We can then compute the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a. We can distinguish three cases which all have their own solution strategies. In this video you will learn what cases we have and how can we distinguish them. So let us take a look. So here we have our system of differential equations. And we will take now a linear and constant coefficients and homogeneous. So we have an x1 prime equals a11 times x1 up to a1n times xn, where these a11 up to a1n are now given numbers. And same for all the other ones, up to the last one xn prime equals a n1 times x1 until a n times x n. So we know we can rewrite this as x prime equals some matrix times x, where x contains all our unknown functions. And the matrix A is given by A11, A12 up to A1n, which is already signaled by this notation we used over here. Now we have several cases. First of all, say the easiest case. If we can diagonalize A, so what uh, does this require? Uh, we need uh, to have only real eigenvalues and we need to have enough independent eigenvectors. That's the first big uh, case we're going to study. So an example of this, the diagonalizable A, would be when all the eigenvalues are real and unequal. It's the second big case. Second case is if A is similar to a C a scaling rotation matrix. So a equals p, c, p inverse. In this case, a has complex eigenvalues. We will only do this for the 2 by 2 case. Of course, you can have bigger matrices with, which having, uh, are having complex eigenvalues, but uh, and that goes beyond the scope of this series of web, web lectures. You only do the 2 by 2 case. And then the a third case, if a is what's called defective. So what does that mean? Uh, that you have uh, real eigenvalues, but not enough independent eigenvectors. So this is, for example, the case when equal eigenvalues occur. So for that case, for a defective A, you will have to go to generalized eigenvectors and use the Jordan canonical form, for example. So that will be the third big case. So we are going to look into the problem x prime equals a times x with the three big cases, case 1, A, diagonalizable. So, for example, different eigenvalues and enough independent eigenvectors. 2 by 2 case, A equals PCP inverse for the complex eigenvalues. And third case, a defective uh, uh, case if there are uh, equal eigenvalues. So this is the big classification uh, we'll start uh, in the uh, next series with the first case where A is diagonalizable.